What's going on YouTube? I know I said I'd do a, a video of my entire lighter collection quite some time ago, but it was actually pretty hard to round up. Uh, if you're like me, you probably have lighters that you've collected over the years just about everywhere. So finally had an opportunity to clean up the house a little bit, organize some things, and I would say this is a good 80% of my lighters. There's still a box missing with some Zippos in it, uh, kind of some older lighters that I picked up at flea markets, but this is kind of the bulk of the collection as far as um, the nicer stuff and the stuff I've collected more recently. But I'll just get started and kind of explain them to you and um, show, show you what I've got here. So the first lighter is right here. This lighter here was the very first lighter I ever purchased and it probably won't light yet. So I did not rehearse this, I did not prepare. So some of these are gonna have fluid in them, some of them are not. Um, just to let you guys know, I don't actually smoke, but I just like having a lighter and I like to fidget with them. But uh, that one I bought from a um, store called Long's Drugs. I don't think they're in business anymore, but in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I remember being 12 or 13, had a paper out, had a few bucks, walked in, and uh, they sold me a Zippo lighter out of the counter, and it's all been collecting from there. This lighter here was a flea market pickup. Um, again, I don't know too much about these, but you guys could take a look. It's another Zippo, and pretty cool lighter. All of these do work. At one time or another, they, they were up and uh, up and running. And here's the other zip. This is actually pretty new. I, I forgot why I purchased this, but I think it was one of those situations where I had to add $20 to a cart uh, to get free shipping or something, and I ended up with that lighter. So um, Harley Davidson lighter. Actually, I haven't opened this in a while. So we do have another box of lighters, and mostly Zippos. That's kind of cool. Um, Mostly Zippos, because I know I had uh, a lighter that uh, was given to me from the 96 Olympics, and I know I had a, a Mustang lighter, so there's a box around here somewhere with a bunch of Zippos and kind of some old flea market pickups, but like I said, this is kind of the, uh, the uh, bulk of the collection that I have now. Um, this is a cool little lighter. This was a Dunhill Sulfide, and I do believe this one does work. Yep, perfect. And I love the old mechanical lighters like this. Just so cool. And this is silver, so I do have to polish this every now and then. So that's why I know it uh, it does work. This is an old lighter from Cartier. And I'm pretty brand loyal guy. So pretty much all the lighters I've ever purchased it, that I've collected would be Zippo, uh, Cartier, that Dunhill's kind of a uh, one-off, unique one, uh, but I have collected a bunch of Cartiers and of course ST DuPonts. And here's another Cartier. And this one was pretty cool because I actually collect Mont Blanc pens and that one uh, matched up really, really well with the uh, Mont Blanc uh, line where they do the um, uh, the, the, the lacquer on, on the gold, it looked really cool. And this one was one of my favorites. I don't know, it's just so cool. With the crocodile looking. And this is the new style lighter. In fact, I don't even think this has a flint in it. It doesn't. I have not put anything in this, but pretty cool. I haven't had a chance to use this. It's kind of a little bit heavier than usual, but uh, kind of a unique shape, but I just like the look of it. And so that was kind of my Cartier. So here are the ST DuPonts. Uh, I do kind of collect 007 stuff. I'm a big fan of James Bond. I love all the movies. So um, you'll see kind of the ST DuPonts are themed for the James Bond. This is the very first uh, torch James Bond. It does work. That has not had fuel in it for years. It still works. So that shows you the quality of ST DuPont there. And this is the Casino Royale. You can see it has a pattern to it. Wow, this one does work too. This one I actually do use. So I know that this one, watch if this doesn't fire up, that'd be funny. No, this one I do use for cigars every now and then. But that's this is just a normal, normal jet lighter. Oh, but this here, this is just a cutter. This is pretty cool. This is a 
the 007. I use that to cut the cigars. Spectra right there. And you guys have probably seen the video of this guy here. Just a quick uh, line two. And I actually have two of these because this is my favorite lighter. And I just really like the look of it. And it's the um, James Bond. Of course, this is the, you can see the cigar flame here. So if, if you um, if you turn it up, it actually has two, um, uh, two areas where the flame comes out. So it actually will get a little bit wider versus just getting a little bit taller. So it's pretty cool. But this is a 007 lighter that, I think the W, yep, right up there. Um, that came out for the movie Casino Royale, which is actually a really good movie. So I bought two of those. So this one, I pretty, I don't know. It does, okay, cool. Again, I have not, <laughs> wow, I haven't fired this thing up for years and years. So that still fires up. So these are pretty good quality, quality items. Uh, this is the latest movie, Spectra. So this lighter, I bought this when that movie came out. So I thought this one was really cool because you could actually see, uh, see through it there's a big hole in the lighter and of course that's uh for the james bond gun barrel and of course you had to get the black one as well to complete the set and they just fire up so that's pretty cool st dupont on the top spectra logo 007 on the side and i believe one of these so one of them is flame height adjustment the other one is to fill it and one of them is the secret compartment so and they're limited to whatever number they're limited to. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed a very quick review of my uh, current lighter collection. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks. I had to add this onto the video because as I was putting the lighters away, I, I saw that I didn't include this in the video and I left this in there. This lighter has been with me... Um, for one of the longest uh, periods of time. I actually got this one, I believe, on my 21st birthday in Vegas when I went on a wild um, winning spree and uh, bought this lighter and it's been with me ever since as a reminder of luck. So you can see it is uh, pretty beat to hell. And uh, I didn't feel like it was a fair lighter collection video without showing this one. So, thanks.